A lot of girls like mm-hmm. Teslas, I think. Yeah. yeah, in the same way they like guys who drive BMWs. I mean, I, I you know, mm-hmm. um, uh, I understand why someone likes a Tesla. Uh, I like electric cars. I, I do. I think they're fun. I have the electric Ford, the Mach E, which I like a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it, it's they're they're cool, but a Tesla is a very douchey car. Also, I think if you're if you wanted a more affordable douche car than a G wagon, uh, a Tesla is would satisfy that requirement. I, don't know if I pay too much attention to this, but I wonder if Elon Musk's pivot to the right politically is going to hurt him with his customer base. It might. I mean, it's he certainly was uh extremely liberal when he needed fucking doe loans from the democrats <laughs> right <laughs> um, and when he needed this in california i don't think it's gonna, it, to, I don't to think it hurt him at all i don't think they're buying elon musk when they buy those i think it's a status symbol you know it's a it's a hundred thousand dollar you know status symbol that yeah. you cruise around there's in. that but it's also some virtue signaling and and i think that they want sure. either uh, you told me um i talked about cowboy hats and you're like no nah, cowboy hats they're not functional. It's to say I'm on this team. And yeah. I think Teslas do that to some extent. People say I'm on team green over here. I'm a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, and it's not that they're not functional. Guy. It's that a lot of a lot of guys are like all hat and no cattle. So, so it sure. doesn't yeah. I think what will hurt that that car company more is the uh, uh the availability of electric cars that are just better i mean uh there's four or five different electric cars that have come on the market in the last two years that are just better than tesla so you think they'll they'll just fall behind well look i mean go back to the 1980s and who would have thought someone knocked ibm off the pc game you know what i mean mm. and now who the fuck's buying an ibm you know um it, i think um i think that tesla is in, was incredibly innovative um they they definitely uh, inspired the other automakers to make a, a hard move towards not only evs but the big tablet style multimedia um systems um but they're not very good at building cars their cars are built really badly and and mm-hmm. so um if you have someone else whether it's ford or porsche or audi um you know learn those lessons and learn from the fact that people bought Teslas, what those customer preferences were, mm-hmm. but build a better car, you know, a car that doesn't leak water. And, that the what do you think about the smooth. truck now? Last time, last two F-150. times you've said there will be oh, no uh, cyber truck. truck. Yeah, where is it? I heard, you seen, you've I seen heard, it? I heard more, <laughs> more talk. I heard him, he re, they recently doubled down. And they were like, the truck is coming. We mean business. Yeah. Well, that's what Elon Musk does. He doubles the fuck down. Uh, he doubles right on down, and there, there. Not only is there, there are no engineering mules running around for that truck. I mean, they're, they're he, the how, prototype that they keep showing is the same fucking one they've been showing for years. And how, looks like how shit. did he miss out? How did he miss out on starting some kind of a fan club called the Musketeers? Ooh, that's mm. a good name. That, that is, is a much, very good that name. That is a great name. Does, does that is, that's, that what, that's what you can call his bot army on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. He yeah, says mid twenty twenty three. This yeah. is like when the self driving every year. Cars it's come every out. year. It's one more year, dude. Every I, year, I, it's one more year. I rail against Musk sometimes, and everyone gets mad at me. But it's mostly about his false promises. I feel like it's if the, Ford said the new F one fifty was coming out in twenty twenty, and then they backed it off and backed it off and backed it off. Yeah, I will say that too. I will say this when he made that flamethrower, like like that was something that I like knew about. Like, like I have flamethrowers, I have good flamethrowers. And I was like real ones. Yeah. Bitch, you don't know how to make a flamethrower. That you know, that's not a flamethrower, that's a water gun. You know, what, you know what's yeah. really <laughs> funny is there's a lot of people think Elon is is smart until he wades into their area of expertise and they realize he's completely full of shit. And then they go, wait a minute. If he's completely full of shit about this thing that I, I know about, is he full of shit about everything else too? And the answer is yes, he is. He absolutely <laughs> is full of shit about everything else. He's a yeah. businessman more than an engineer. You think? He's a fucking marketer. Yeah. He's a marketer. You know, he, he uses PT uh, Barnum. Uh, he thinks he's yes, more PT Barnum than he is yes. uh, Edison. Yes, and that's, and, and that's he's PT Barnum, but had but look the the Model S, which a lot of smart people far beyond Elon Musk were involved in the Model S. The designer, um, Franz von Holzhausen, Peter Rawlinson, who was the the head chassis engineer, like so many talented people were involved in that car. Super revolutionary, but the problem is they don't have a second album. 
the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y are just the Model S in different packaging. There's nothing that mm-hmm. any of those cars mm-hmm. do that didn't that didn't come on the Model S. They don't have a follow-up. They put all the eggs in the self-driving thing, and it's horse shit. And Elon mm-hmm. was figured he was smart enough to solve a problem that wasn't that hard. Turns out it's pretty fucking hard uh, yeah. for a lot of reasons, you know. And then they thought they could sell this fucking total recall movie prop pickup truck with the, <laughs> that's that's uh, in a whole new level of manufacturing with an exoskeleton. Now, there's a reason that nobody builds cars like that. Like, yeah. like uh, oh, it's stainless steel. Like, huh, why didn't DeLorean work out? Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because you can't do fucking body work yeah. on those cars. Like, it's just, it's just like dumb shit. Um, but the hype train is strong. The, 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 Either that the, there's some there's true believers that really do believe in the hero worship of this guy and his fucking mm-hmm. genius. The media props him up and is completely uncritical about things they should be incredibly critical about. And there's also a, a bot army, you know, to spread the garbage on Twitter. And uh, and there's people that are financially invested in it. You know that the stock is through the fucking roof based on his mm-hmm. declared vision and they don't want to stop that train and even I'm, u.s regulators you know the nitsa and the and the regulators who could stop the full self-driving beta nobody really wants to put to fucking put the kibosh on this american success story nobody wants uh, to really rain on the parade i'm a little happy about that now i'll admit that self-driving kind of they're not doing it great and i think their technology not using lidar is probably wrong but, there are firms that are doing a great job. Waymo, Argo, yes, Cruise. They have, they have Tesla's not one, them, Tesla's right? not one of them. Tesla's definitely not one of them. Tesla's though. trying to use like video camera and, only and, and yeah. interpret it off of camera. And other people ah. are using LiDAR, which gives yeah. them like a 3D image. And it's yeah. easier to do self-driving with it. Yeah. Having said that, even though I think the approach is wrong, I'm glad the government isn't locking it so tight that, they're set, that innovation gets stifled. And they say, well, not on our roads. Nah, no, put it on our roads. People suck at driving. No, no, innovation is not being stifled. And right. inno- even if if Tesla played by the rules, it wouldn't stop innovation. It wouldn't. It would just make them less money. But my uh, one thing that baffles me about Elon Musk is this. His salesmanship is remarkably effective, mm-hmm. but not on me. I hear this guy speak and I think, oh my God, every, is everyone looking at the same imbecile yeah. I am? Yeah. He can hardly string a few words together yeah. without stuttering Im- he sounded insanely. Dumb as fuck on he Joe sounds Rogan. stupid <laughs> as fuck. He can't yeah. speak. He, I mean, people rip on Joe Biden for his stutter. Watch yeah, Elon yeah. Musk. Elon yeah. Musk is fucking whatever illiterate is for talking. That's what yeah. Elon Musk is. When I watched Steve Jobs speak, I was in captured by it i i, I, yeah. I was in I, I was so absorbed that reality distortion field that's a term people use when steve jobs spoke he put this reality distortion field in front of everyone and we'd be like yes oh my god the best yeah. pointing device ever created is my finger you're so great you know like i i, I buy into this bullshit that steve jobs would, would give me hook line and sinker elon musk it doesn't work on me but i do acknowledge that it works because oh, it's working you've on been everyone making else. Making fun of someone with Aspergers. He does oh, have Aspergers. He's, 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 that's he's not why we're making fun of him. Abilities to become a tycoon. <laughs> is is this his, news? Cut his, It's very oh, obvious he has yeah. Aspergers. Aspergers <laughs> plus a South African accent is really a winning. <laughs> Yeah, I, his reality distortion feels super effective. No, but not when he me speaks, and I don't he get sounds it. dumb as fuck. I I completely agree. He doesn't actually say anything. I saw him on the JRE. Dude, yeah, yeah. he speaks one, maybe two words a fucking minute. Yeah. Say something, you yeah. dumb fuck. Your head's yeah. supposed to be filled with thoughts. Joe Rogan is like, oh my God, he's such a genius. I have to get the genius out of him. It's one yeah. of the hardest interviews. He's not saying fucking words. Say yeah, words, right. Elon Musk. You're not making any points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, in the in the realm of like tech style geniuses often they're not expected to be very good like having conversations you know yeah like it's almost like 
Like if I see some, like if I see the guy who invented IBM computers and he's like riffing and he's got a tight five, I'm like, this guy didn't invent shit. But yeah. if he's like up there, like struggling to make eye contact, like fiddling with his shirt buttons, I'm like, this guy's got it going on. This guy, this guy's yeah, no he's science. Like counter narrative, right? He's, he's he's relatable to the to the Aspergers crowd for sure.